Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This liturgy is going to be offered for uh, all the victims uh, of the pandemic uh, uh, virus and, uh, and families that have been suffering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may I my dear God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, by a sudden blow. I am taking away from you the delight of your eyes, but do not mourn or weep or shed any tears. Groan in silence, Make no lament for the dead. Bind on your turban, put your sandals on your feet, do not cover your beard, and do not eat customary bread. That evening my wife died, and the next morning I did as, he, as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, Will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean for us? Therefore I spoke to the people that morning, saying to them, Thus the word of the Lord came to me, Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will now desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold of your pride, the delight of your eyes, the desire of your soul. The sons and daughters you left behind shall fall by the sword. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he did, you shall do when it happens. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. You shall do as I have done, not covering your beards, nor eating customary bread. Your turban shall remain on your heads, your sandals on your feet. You shall not, you shall not mourn or weep, but you shall rot away because of your sins and groan one to another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, You have begotten God who gave you birth. You have begotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock you begot, that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger towards his son and daughters. You forgot the God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have Forgot forgotten God, God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people. With a foolish nation, I will anger them. You, you have forgotten, forgotten God who gave you birth. Hallelujah.
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus asked him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we have in the, uh, the, the two readings um, uh, in the, uh, the Jewish Testament. Uh, we find that the um, people of Israel have disregarded uh, God's commandments, and uh, they are going to be punished for it. But he also gives them hope. Um, but uh, they will be punished, and they will, they will suffer, uh, but not lost. And in the uh, second reading, um, you have this young man who is extremely righteous, uh, he does all kinds of good things, but his possessions possessed him. And Jesus was trying to uh, free him from his possessions, that he could truly become whole. But he went away sad because he couldn't part with his possessions. And it's always important for us uh, that uh, we reflect on what we have and are our possessions possessing us or do we possess our possessions? And that's an important distinction. That in order to be free, we must have control of our possessions, not them controlling us. Because if a possession controls us, we become isolated and fear that someone might take something away from us. But if we own these possessions and have power over them, we can freely give and continue to uh, uh, grow in maturity and wealth. And that's what Jesus was asking us. Could have been uh, an, another apostle or an outstanding disciple. Come, follow me. We do not know what happened to the young man. I would assume and I hope that he continued to uh, observe all the laws and was a righteous man and hoped that he grew in maturity uh, and uh, let some of those possessions not possess him. But a reflection for us is, do our possessions possess us, or do we possess our possessions? My brothers and sisters, let us ask the Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. That the baptized may excel in love of their neighbor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, 
and hear our prayer. That creation's riches may be justly shared among all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find perfection in their suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may seek to follow Christ with undivided hearts, hearts we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we pray for Rita O'Brien and all those in our book of intentions and on our prayer list and all those souls in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for also for an increase of vocations to religious life and priesthood, especially in the Society of Mary. Are you a problems in our Mary's family? We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions that remain in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery of water and wine, may you share in our divinity as you humble yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. The humble spirit of the bread of life may you be accepted by you, O Lord, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleased to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquities, and cleanse me from all my sins. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice I say yours may be acceptable to God, the Father of life. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering up what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in, in goodness you created the human race, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we are playing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, 
broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, pronounced the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup, <clears throat> this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save your world, world for by your cross and your resurrection, you have necessary. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Archbishop, Bernard and Joel our auxiliary bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his help, with the Apostles, the martyr St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, and all your saints who please you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the area of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you sent your apostles, disciples, friends, you saved each and every one of us. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be upon you all. And with your spirit. And let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the name of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the God, who by the will of the Father works of the Spirit, who is in the last world, 
Bring me by this and most holy body and blood from all my sins and every evil. Keep me always faithful to your remembrance and never let me be parted from you. And behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and thy soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a charitable and loving day.